the BBs connected with Lord Inscriber uh, through mutual friends through the Portland Garden Club. And so they made the initial contact with Lord Inscriber, who immediately followed up. So this began the correspondence. And uh, Lord Inscriber went up and visited the site. And very early on, um, Mary Beebe, who was an ardent plants woman, um, knew exactly what shrubs, et cetera, and trees um, that they wanted. Uh, and so there be, thereby began a very rich correspondence. The BBs were still living at their other place and they had a five year sort of horizon on when they thought they would move. And in the meantime, they did a lot of planting. So the garden was going in as the house was being built. I think the BB garden is an exemplary model of how they worked with clients in that they had a long-term relationship with them. The primary to their beginning working with a client was to work with them to understand the client's intentions, how they envision using this garden, the notion of various rooms to help understand how clients would live in this garden, just as an architect would do for a house. How are you going to use the kitchen, you know, et cetera. So there was this personal long-term investment both ways between them. And in terms of the uh, actual designing of the garden, that the approach there was to uh, make a major study of the surroundings. And in the case of the BB garden, it was out in the country um, amidst beautiful landscape with a view of Mount Hood that was die, be to die for. <laughs> but, and so they were very cognizant of the major um, topographical features uh, the, the sort of borrowed view, if you will. And then Edith would always start with a very intensive topographical study, diagrams showing the various elevations, et cetera. And that would be the start. Then they would talk about the overall design, as I mentioned, how they were going to use the garden. And then they would start talking about plants. So it was very conceptual, very conceptual initially. Of the 200 plus gardens that they designed in the Northwest, I would say there's maybe six or eight today that still have a sufficient amount of integrity to be viewed as a Lord and Scriver garden. And surely the BB garden is right up there with one, two, and three. It's just an extraordinary place. That is extensively due to the current owners who have tended this garden and restored it for, I don't know, 30 years, 30 plus years. And we owe a tremendous amount of gratitude to them for their integrity, passion, investment of resources, not only financial, but heart, and just hours and hours and hours of labor, but they loved it. And um, so we're, I think we all are, need to be very grateful to them for, for their commitment.